Sourdough Bread. It was one of my very first YouTube videos. It helped get my foot in the door known as the YouTube algorithm, and it's still chugging along to this very day. And since I'm trying to get my channel to go big, I need to find a way to capture lightning in a bottle yet again. So, how do I improve on my sourdough bread recipe? Stuff it with olives. Okay, before we can take care of the olives, let's take care of the bread. Let's add three and a half cups of bread flour. And yes, it has to be bread flour. You want that nice crusty chewiness of sourdough? You gotta go with something high in gluten, therefore bread flour. Hashtag don't be a grainist. Two and a half teaspoons of salt and a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Okay, that might have been more than a quarter teaspoon. Nah. Mix the dry ingredients together. And let's finally talk about... Specifically, you're gonna need about six ounces of Kalamata olives. Now, before we go Sweeney Todd on these Greek bad boys, um, give everything a close inspection because even though these olives are pitted you might come across an occasional unpitted olive boy did i learn that the hard way <laughs> and when you think they're eh, mostly pitted transfer them to a cutting board and give these a nice rough chop Everything has a nice rough top. Add it to our flour mixture. Toss everything in, make sure it's nice and uniform. And finally, let's add a cup and a half of water. All right, once it's fully mixed, let's cover this with saran wrap. And let this rise overnight for at least 24 hours. All right, I let it rise overnight and, yeah, crap, the glare from the plastic wrap is kind of ruining everything. Let me take this off. Ooh. Yes. This is my LSD trip right here. All right, as you see, the yeast did its job. It's nice and inflated. And now we're gonna deflate and form this. So first, let's sprinkle the top with some flour. I can tell just by handling this that uh, letting this rest did its thing and it developed all that gluten. All right, next let's lay out a tea towel. Give everything a heavy dusting of flour. Normally you need to form this to a ball, but it's gonna be a little harder with all the olives. Okay, I think that's good. Dust the top with flour and let this rise for another two hours. And as your dough rises, place a Dutch oven, link in the description, in a cold oven, and then set it to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's 230 degrees Celsius for my pseudo-European self-hating Americans who might be watching. Alright, after two hours, place our loaf inside the Dutch oven, cover it back up. and let it cook for 30 minutes. All right, after 30 minutes, remove the lid, put the pan back in the oven, and let it cook for 15 minutes uncovered. Okay, after 15 minutes, take our bread out of the oven, and this is why I told you to put the Dutch oven in a cold oven. You can just simply lift it out of the pot and place it on a cooling rack. Anyway, with that said, let the bread cool down for about 10 minutes. And once you let it cool down, you can dip it in some balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Or hell, it's so good, just have it by itself. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna end the video here before it gets age restricted. 
This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Okay, I better pack things up. My mom's cooking and I don't want to overcook the food.